So, when is enough enough? <clears throat> How many bodies are going to have to drop before the entire world say, you know what, enough's enough, that's enough. Israel has their revenge. They have avenged themselves 10 times more than the opposition. When do we say, when we say, you know what, they have killed 10 times the opposition, the, 10 times of what the opposition has done, is that when we say, okay, we're going to relinquish all pressure on Gaza? But, I mean, I, that's just my question. And, <clears throat> excuse me, when have you had 65% of America agree on something? 65%? 65% of America, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, agree on the same freaking thing brothers and sisters i don't i don't recall that ever kind of happening in my lifetime and get this only two countries are against this humanitarian ceasefire <laughs> which is yours truly where we live here in the americas and in the uk France and I mean this is just this is sorry this is this is sorry but uh let me let the high level major from the Marine Corps blast off and let you know what's going on not an enslaved population a population especially in Gaza that's been put in this open-air concentration camp what price do we put on their freedom and again I speak as an American whose nation was born of revolution to liberate ourselves from the tyranny of the tyrant king in England so you know we know that there is a need historically for revolution at times to liberate oneself from oppressive regimes the palestinian people are screaming for liberation screaming for freedom and so they manifest their desire violently on october 7th in what was a masterful military operation but you're not allowed to say that you see the moment israel acknowledges that they got beat in a stand-up fight let me just Put it out here, guys. The Battle of Hue City. I'm a Marine. I always cite Marine Corps uh, stuff. The Battle of Hue City uh, was the largest urban battle fought during the Vietnam War. It unfolded over the course of three to four days, longer if you count some of the follow-up actions. And the Marines lost uh, 200 and some odd Marines killed in that. The bloodiest battle. Israel lost that in one day fighting Hamas. Now, if we're going to call the Battle of Hue City a battle, between two opposing forces fighting one another, what do we call what happened along the Gaza barrier on October 7th? It was not an act of terrorism. These weren't terrorists that came across the wall. These were soldiers of Islam, soldiers of Hamas, soldiers of the Palestinian people who took the Israeli on, army on in a stand-up fight and beat them. Beat them. The Golani Brigade, two battalions, the 13th and the 51st, were beat in a stand-up fight. Other units were likewise beat in a stand-up fight. It was a surprise attack. Scott knew it was a morning attack. There was no surprise attack because the Israeli intelligence service was there watching this the whole time. They knew it was coming. The political leadership was asleep, but don't blame Hamas for the leadership failure of Israel. Israel cannot acknowledge that what happened